we're here with Will Ferguson, uh, who is author of the Giller winning 419, but not only is he the winner of the Giller, he's also our very first book club pick here at City I'm Line. The You're the very I'm the first. first. Yes, yes. Do I get a prize, a trophy? Something, um, you know? You get to be here with us this today. Is, even a small trophy? You couldn't even give, you couldn't even. I'll try to rustle you up something. Okay. <laughs> So since Will is our very first book club pick, we thought we'd ask our book club members what questions they had for him about the book as we read along. So I've asked um, our staff members and our viewers, and they all have some questions for him. So we'll get right to them. So our first question is from our producer, Carolyn, and she wants to know um, a bit about the inspiration for the book. She wants to know if you know someone who'd been scammed or if the inspiration came from your inbox or where the idea came from. No, actually, I was researching a previous book about con men in the 1930s. Mm. And then I came across a reference to 419. And we all get these emails. I am the son of a Nigerian diplomat. I want to give you millions of dollars. And um, I thought they were kind of funny. So my original idea was, what if there is this poor Nigerian diplomat who has $65 million and nobody will take his money? So I thought it would be a funny novel. And then I researched it, and it's not funny at all. It's very dark. Mm -hmm. the, the people's lives get ruined. Uh, people commit suicide. They get murdered. Um, so the more I researched it, the story turned dark. Yeah, it definitely um, is a very serious novel, and that actually ties into another one of our questions, because a lot of y your bibliography basically is very diverse. Um, this is a much more serious novel, but you've written humor novels as well as travel writing. So how do you, do you sort of have a different approach to your different types of writing, or how do you, you know, shift gears like that so much in your writing? Yeah, well, I do, I write history and humor, but my first love is travel writing. Mm -hmm. And 419 is, it's like a fictionalized travel book, I think. There's a lot of travel in it. Yeah. Um, but no, I, I think uh, I, my original background at York University, I, was a, I studied film, screenwriting, mm -hmm. and I think uh, I approach every book kind of the same, which is structure first, like outline it, plot it, structure it, think in yeah. scenes, and then kind of construct a book. So the process is similar. The stories are very different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. It's, it's, it's just interesting to us that you can write in so many different genres successfully. Oh, That's you. not something that a lot of authors can do. <laughs> it's, uh, I, think I, just have a f I think I just have a form of ADD is all it is. I just can't. That's very possible. <laughs> um, so speaking of the travel aspect, um, our host of the show, Tracy Moore, uh, she wanted to know um, a bit more about your Nigerian characters and um, how many times, I actually know the answer to this question, but she wanted to know how many times did you travel to Nigeria for research? How many times did I travel? <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Zero times. I, I'm married. And uh, that's the beauty of fiction is you can travel without going. And my wife said, no, you're not going. The Niger <laughs> Delta is off limits, first of all. You need armed right. guards. I was set to go to the Sahel, the northern area. Mm -hmm. um, but that's, a, that's a kind of a separatist area. They're kind of breaking away. They're trying to. And uh, the week I was supposed to go, they blew up a market. <laughs> and then they started kidnapping foreigners. And um, they, they, they target kind of rich foreigners. Mm. And I... I said to a friend of mine who knows Nigeria, I said, well, I'm not rich. And they said, they won't know that. So they're, they're not going to ask. They're not going to check. So no, I didn't go to Nigeria. I did a lot of, uh, I, it's, I can tell you one thing. It's harder to write about a place if you haven't been there. It's mm. a lot more research. When I went to Northern Ireland, um, I went there. So I just I relied on my own observations. And when I went to Japan, so I, I hitchhiked across Japan and I walked across Northern Ireland. So naturally, when I looked at Nigeria, I wanted to go. But mm -hmm. it's just too dangerous, Th those areas that I was writing about. Other question we want to ask you, this one is from our viewers. Uh, one of our viewers wanted to know actually um, a bit about your characters. Um, you have a very diverse set of characters in your book and you get inside all their heads and some are in Nigeria and some are here in Canada. Um, we wanted to know what character did you like writing the most and conversely, what character did you find most difficult? I, I like Namdi. Mm -hmm. uh, writing Namdi. Yeah. I like the character. I liked Igbo Joe, the truck driver. He was fun mm -hmm. to write. Laura was the hardest character because I didn't want to take the easy way out and make her really warm and fuzzy. She's a bit, she's kind of this isolated, um, brittle person. Mm -hmm. And I wanted her to have this kind of strength. She has the strength of character to do something without even thinking about the consequences. And she has terrible consequences for what she does. So Laura was tough because it's a fine balance to make a character interesting but not sympathetic. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a hard balance. Yeah, definitely. Well, I think you struck it. <laughs> Thanks. Um, and I guess the last question we all want to know is, what are you working on now? I, I'm writing a book about Africa, and I'm actually going to Africa. Oh, You'll be happy nice. to know. I'm going to uh, Rwanda uh, and Uganda, Tanzania, Burundi, maybe, probably not, but maybe Eastern Congo for a travel book. So my next book is a travel memoir. Great. Well, we look forward to reading it. And I look forward to my trophy. 
<laughs> we'll go find that now. So, Will. Yes. We found your trophy. You got a trophy. We found your trophy. Yes. You know, because since Will travels so much um, and is going to be traveling for his upcoming novel, we thought, what better to bring along with him than a traveling gnome? Oh, so this is, this is my trophy. It's your trophy. It totally doesn't look like something that was just on your desk. It definitely, definitely didn't come from a press kit. So this is, this is no. the official City Line uh, debut book club novel gnome. You got it. Excellent. Thank you so much. I'm touched. I'm really touched. Thank you, Will. <laughs>